Glasser's disease, also known as pansinusitis, is an infectious disease in piglets, mainly in weaned piglets from 4 to 8 weeks old, caused by the bacteria Haemophilus parasuus. The disease is persistent, causing major consequences for farmers. To help farmers have a more general view of the disease, Dr. Vet provide more about the necessary information about Glasser's disease pansinusitis in piglets. 1. Causes of disease. Haemophilus parasuus is a gram-negative coaching, commonly known as porcine parasuus, which is commonly found in the upper respiratory tract and can be isolated from the tonsils, nasal cavity, and trachea of piglets. Within a few days after birth, Haemophilus parasuus can enter piglets and cause disease through the respiratory tract nose by contact. The disease can spread rapidly through direct contact with infected pigs or pigs raised together in a confined space. In addition, the disease can be transmitted indirectly through people working on the farm. In particular, bacteria can easily attack healthy pigs and penetrate the respiratory system of healthy pigs in changing weather conditions or factors that cause stress. Factors that cause stress in pigs that make the disease develop faster include sudden weather changes, high humidity, poorly ventilated cages, move cage, sudden change in feed, weaning. 2. Typical symptoms. Sudden death of pig. Due to cerebral congestion, the eyes are bloodshot, with neurological symptoms such as lying on one side, stiff body, convulsions, and loud crying, cyanosis blue, or pink discoloration of the skin, especially the ears, difficulty breathing, tongue sticking out to breathe, runny nose, anorexia, sickness, exhaustion, arthritis, swollen joints, difficulty walking, fever 40 to 41 degrees Celsius, acute cases, pigs get sick very quickly, with a fever of 40 to 41 degrees Celsius, loss of appetite, difficulty breathing, and rapid breathing. A typical symptom is a short cough of two to three times. Some pigs die suddenly and have neurological symptoms due to encephalitis. Other symptoms depend on the target organ that the bacteria attack. Chronic cases. Pigs with chronic Glasser's disease are often pale and grow slowly. The infection rate is about 5 to 15 percent. When pericarditis persists, it can cause death. When detected, early culling is needed to reduce the source of the disease. Pigs with swollen joints have difficulty walking. Pigs with eye congestion. 3. Pathogenesis of the disease. Gross lesions. Mainly serous inflammation with fibrin fibers in the pleura, pericardium, joints, peritoneum, meninges. These lesions can occur simultaneously or sporadically. Microscopic lesions. Microscopic examination of the lesions showed purulent fibrinous inflammation with infiltration of many neutrophils and polymorphonuclear leukocytes. 4. Glasser's disease treatment. When pigs are sick, localize treatment to prevent the disease from spreading. The disease requires early treatment. High dose antibiotics injected so that the medicine can penetrate the meninges and tissue fluid. Antibiotics for treating sinusitis. Refer to some antibiotic products for treatment. Biocillin 150LA. Biogenta. Penstrep for 100 LA. Inject once a day, 5 consecutive days. Use anti inflammatory, pain relievers, and fever reducers to treat symptoms. Refer to some anti inflammatory, pain relieving, fever reducing products. Ketosol 100, Keprofen, Desaxone. Inject once a day, 3 consecutive days. In addition, farmers also need to supplement nutrition vitamins, and resistance for the herd to increase the ability to fight disease. Refer to some nutritional supplements and vitamins. Inject once a day, five consecutive days. Butasil 100, Butavit 100 Intravit, 
Give her mix feed for 10 consecutive days, with digestive enzymes and nutritional vitamins. Clean and disinfect the barn with disinfectant solution. Treatment is difficult due to the reduced resistance of piglets, so disease prevention is a prerequisite for effective farming. Farmers can prevent diseases for piglets as follows. Actively vaccinate the herd to limit damage caused by disease. When buying pigs, farmers need to choose pigs with reputable, clear origins, and quarantine. Quarantine and vaccinate fully before entering the herd. Piglets can be vaccinated from five weeks of age onwards, two injections two weeks apart. Vaccinate sows four and two weeks before farrowing. Passive immunization against early infection for piglets, less three weeks. Biosecurity measures, control well the sources of entry and exit from the farm and implement the all-in-all-out measure. Regularly check and take samples for disease testing. Increase the flock's resistance with vitamins and supplements, and prevent disease with antibiotics mixed in feed. Limit stress that affects the resistance of pigs, such as transportation, temperature changes, feed, weaning, or grafting. Through the useful information above, Farmers can clearly understand the symptoms, prevention, and effective treatment of Glasser's disease in piglets. Thanks for caring. Goodbye, and see you again.